All right, guys, the highlights from GreatStockPicks.com on Wednesday, March 13th. Um, I have BlackBerry up here, one-minute candles to just show you um, perhaps one of the best aspects of the room. Forget um, chart analysis and, uh, and, and teaching buying on the pullbacks to certain moving averages and different time frames. All that is what we focus on, but an overlooked aspect of the chat room, in, at least in our, uh, in our videos, and something I almost never talk about, is the news aspect of the chat room. And, and we, uh, one of our members, uh, we call him Big Al, uh, we made him an all-star a while back because he's so fast at posting news, and uh, he posted BlackBerry today. Um, and the reason I'm having these one-minute candles to show you how quickly uh, he, he got it out to the room. He posted BlackBerry, uh, whatever it was, uh, BlackBerry news, and then um, like two seconds later, a huge order. Okay, so with that information, it already had a million shares in one minute. I was able to get filled at 14.58, um, which is right here. So this is one minute candy. See how quickly he got the news to the room. Um, and the way we play these is when, if you can get in something, particularly if there's still a high of day to the left, okay? And we also happen to know there's the early high. We also happen to know BlackBerry has a lot of shorts in it, so that helped. That coupled with the fact that he put out the, the term big order. Um, you know, they just received a big order. Um, you know, that gives you enough confidence to, if you can catch it here, which is like I said, I got filled right about here on the very next candle. Um, if you can catch it, your stop's going to always go below where the volume starts. So if for whatever reason, um, you know, two minutes later, it comes out and says, no, never mind, BlackBerry didn't get an order, right? Because anything can happen. Um, you're still not just completely guessing. You know where your stop's going to go, okay? So the entry was right when uh, he posted the news. And, um, and the stop is just right below where the volume started. Uh, pretty simple. So again, I, thanks to his post, this wasn't something um, that I called in chat. It's something that uh, Big Al posted uh, the news on. And I just, what we call Tokyo did. I just jumped right in at 14.58. Um, worst case stop, uh, whatever it was, 14.30 something. And then look at that. The very next minute, 14.79. And the beauty of it was we hadn't even lit up the new highs ticker yet, right? So a lot of people uh, that are trading and don't have a volume scanner running or a news guy, they might not still might not even know rim is moving, right? But then you get that first pullback, and then you get to the new highs ticker. Now you've got rim, which has been pretty active lately anyway, lighting up the new highs ticker, and people start to see BlackBerry. I keep saying rim. People start to see BlackBerry. Uh, over and over on the new highs ticker and look at this thing it just kept running and I think even in after hours it's over 16 or at least it was a little bit ago um, and it was fun it was just a matter of scaling out all the way up and uh, you know, I can't thank Al enough I told him if I didn't have a problem driving from Florida to New Mexico I'd give him a big hug today but uh, that's just a great alert and uh, for the rest of the calls today and again thanks to Al I had a really nice afternoon just thanks to that one post um, okay HFC Oversold bounce play here, um, just straight down. I called it long over this candle. I'll give you the numbers here, but if the next candle got to here, in other words, took the high of this candle out, that was my entry, um, 52.90. And there's the trigger. Worst case stop's going to go at the low of the day. And from 52.90, pretty quickly, uh, what is this, about uh, 45 minutes, something like that? Pretty quickly to 54. Um, that was really nice, and it just uh, never really looked back after the entry. Um, by the end of the day it had rolled back over and we actually called another trade down here right around 52 and it went up about 30 cents but um, you know we got like a dollar 18 move on a 39 cents risk so that was a nice little trade there. Um, let's see what else we called. Uh, YUM I called it 69.24 again most of these are nothing to brag about uh, they're just kind of small gainers I called YUM right here worst case stop um, right about at the tip of this arrow and you can see it never hit the stop this was the entry it wasn't a big uh, a big one it went from a 69.24 the best it got to was uh, up here is over 69.60 certainly wasn't a barn burner the reason for the call uh, had that huge gap up yesterday sold off most of the day so today Kind of had it on long watch, thinking it might bounce um, right out of the gate this morning, then kind of flagged, and I just called it basically an intraday base break right here with a stop down here. So it worked, but it's certainly nothing to brag about. Um, Macy's 
wasn't even on watch, but then it lit up my scanners right here, selling off pretty hard. I called it as a uh, long idea at 4187, looking for a reversal, and there it was. And uh, went up over, it went to 42, I think, what, 42.25. Not a huge move, but uh, the stock was only 7 cents below. Um, so nice little reversal play there. Uh, let's see, I already talked about Yum. Oh, SRPT was one that I called. Um, I called SRPT. This is one that when it lights up the new highs ticker can get moving pretty nicely lately. I called it right here. Um, as soon as it broke the high of the day, I got right up to the high of the day. I think worst case stop was right here. And it never stopped out. Uh, let, let's see, we try to figure out what the entry was. Um, 30.72, I believe. And it went as high as whatever this was, 31.20 something. 31.32, sorry. So, I mean, decent little trade there, too. Took a while before it, uh, before it worked. Had a uh, flat trade in SPWR. Uh, made a little bit of money on FIO this morning. Uh, I'm not going to go into it because, you know, they weren't huge, but they didn't cost us any money. But while I'm making this video, I will show you FIO is pretty, uh, pretty coiled here on the daily. Keep your eyes on this one. It'll be back on watch tomorrow. Um, you had the gap down here with a high of 18. Now you've got kind of a little cup and handle going on. And up over these recent highs, over 1760, I could see a move to 18. And if you can get through 18, maybe a little bit of a short squeeze. A lot of shorts in FIO. So keep your eyes on this one. Um, looks pretty good, right? I'm not going to babble anymore. Again, my bi my biggest trade of the day wasn't uh, it wasn't chart related at all. It was a news release. Uh, thanks to Big Al, though, my best trade of the day. So uh, any you know, I'll take it. They don't ask they don't ask how. They just ask how many, right? So anyway, all right, I quit babbling. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow.